So welcome back to my channel. We are starting thorax revision and this will be part one of a series of questions on thorax revision. So the first question is name two structures that pass through the diaphragmatic opening at the level of T8 vertebra. So here we have the inferior vena cover and the right phrenic nerve. Name hypothalamic nuclei concerned with the secretion of ADH and oxytocin. So oxytocin is produced via the paraventricular nuclei and the supraoptic nucleus produces ADH, which are stored in the posterior pituitary for release. So the vertebrae A is lumbar, then the vertebrae B, that's the atlas, and you can be able to see the part labeled X on the atlas, and that is the transverse foramen, which passes the vertebral artery. One structure that attaches at the part labeled Y, and that will be the apical ligament. Sensor innervation to the region labeled C and to the region uh, labeled uh, D. So what you have is the mandibular nerve and the occipital nerve. Primary lymph nodes that drain the scalp, you have the preauricular and the occipital. So this is a slide of showing the thyroid. So the artery labeled A is the superior thyroid artery and you have to protect the superior laryngeal nerve during thyroidectomy. The effect of injury to the superior laryngeal nerve is loss of sensation to the supraglottic compartment and also cricothyroid paralysis. So the transitions that occur at the, uh, the level of C6, you have the pharynx becoming the esophagus, the larynx becoming the trachea, and also remember, this is where you also find the Kazagnax tubercle or the carotid tubercle of C6. The components of the deep layer of the deep cervical fascia, we have the prevertebral fascia and the ala fascia. Three parts of a somite stating the derivatives of each. You have the sclerotome, which gives you the ribs and the vertebra. The myotome, which gives you muscles of the trunk, the limbs. And the dermatome, which gives you the dermis of skin. Remember the myotome usually divides further. Now, the neural derivative of neural crests, one of them is the Schwann cells. So here, the organ is the lung, and this is the right lung, so you can be able to see uh, the horizontal fissure there. Then you have the left lung here, and so at this juncture, we can be able to appreciate the branches coming from the arc of the outer so this is the groove for the arc of the outer so the branches coming from there are the left common carotid the left subclavian and the brachiocephalic trunk now a bronchopulmonary segment is a tertiary bronchus with associated blood vessels lymphatics and nerves here you can be able to appreciate the left coronary artery and you can be able to appreciate the coronary sinus at that point so this is the heart, you can be able to appreciate that this is the outer and that this is the coronary artery, so the left coronary artery coming out. So this is the left atrium and you can be able to see the branches from the uh, left uh, co uh, coronary artery. So this is the anterior interventricular artery or the left anterior descending artery. So you can be able to see at this point, you can be able to appreciate the coronary sinus because this is the opening for the inferior vena cava. So remember the origin and distribution of A. So it originates from the left aortic sinus and usually supplies the majority of the left ventricle of the heart. So the parts labeled A and B. So this is the inner aspect of the heart. So you can be able to appreciate this is the smooth part of the right atrium and this is the rough part of the right atrium. So this rough part of the right atrium is because of these uh, trabeculations and these are what we call the musculi pectinati. Okay, they're just uh, cardiac muscle that are branched. And then this is the smooth part of the right atrium and this is the fossa ovalis. So components of the subvalvular apparatus, remember the coda tendinae and the papillary muscles. So at this point you can be able to appreciate vessels uh, labeled A. So here is actually the superior vena cover. So you have the right and the left brachiocephalic veins forming the superior vena cover. 
on the right then this is the arc of the outer you can be able to appreciate the brachycephalic trunk you can be able to appreciate the left common carotid and the left subclavian artery and so the nerve labeled b this will be the vagus nerve now the main contents of the middle mediastinum remember you have the heart and the great vessels so at this point you're able to appreciate the structure tagged by the forceps and it's labeled a so here this is the uh, phrenic nerve and then the vessel labeled b is the brachiocephalic trunk so remember this is the arc of the outer the brachiocephalic trunk which goes to divide into the right subclavian and the right common carotid then this is the left common carotid the left subclavian and then here you have the track here so this is the track here now uh, two structures supplied by a remember a is the phrenic nerve and this is the right phrenic nerve so it supplies the diaphragm and the capsule of the liver which is also known as glisson's capsule so thank you if there is any question you can leave them on the comment section below and we'll be getting more videos on this later